Hi, I'm Richard. And I'm Lauren. And we are about to tell you the top 10 reasons why you should take your clothes off, put them somewhere, and go on vacation without them. Hey, you. Hey, lady. Ow, turn around. <laughs> if you want to know more about open relationships or swingers, or clothing optional travel, or what it's like living in the lifestyle, or you just want to kind of hang out with us, then make sure to keep watching and subscribe. So there's a lot of reasons we wear clothes, right? But we want to give you the reasons not to wear clothes. Here we are at Desire Pearl, one of two Desire resorts here in Riviera Maya, Mexico. This Desire Pearl's in Puerto Morelos, and if we turn the camera around, there would be a beach filled with naked people. So instead, we're on the pier here in some sort of category five wind. Pretty windy. <laughs> to tell you the top 10 reasons why you should visit a clothing optional resort like Desire. Close have only been around for like 72,000 years. The 80s, those were so bad. This was a way, 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 way before the 80s. <laughs> Can you give them a reason not to wear clothes? I love swimming naked. You already shot that part. Oh. You got one, one in the cannon. <laughs> Boom! No. Swimming naked! <laughs> So if you decide to go sans clothes or you want to take off some of this pesky stuff that we talked about, does that make you a naturist? Does that make you a nudist? Do you know the difference between a nudist and a naturist? A naturist lives in the nature. <laughs> None of that is true. There is no difference between a nudist or a naturist or someone who is just clothing optional some of the time. They're all the same thing. If you feel like you want to take your clothes off or you want to try to take your clothes off, don't feel like you have to fit into some sort of label, like a naturist or a nudist or whatever you are. People like to take the clothes off. That's good enough. You don't <laughs> need to put yourself in a category. You've already convinced me. I already want to take my clothes off and go to a clothing optional place. Slow down. We haven't even given you the reasons yet, so stay tuned. First, name some places or things that people can do to take their clothes off in public or in a outside sort of venue. I got you. There's campgrounds, there's resorts, mm -hmm. there's family places, there's festivals, there's even that city. Yeah, there's a whole part of a city in France that's just dedicated to being naked. So if you want to go there, you can live there forever and be naked all the time if you want. You could even take a cruise over to the city where you could be nude the entire year. Right. Nude cruises over to the nude city. Uh, I guess you could. Yeah. So I think they have nude airlines. You can take a nude flight to a nude ship to the nude city. So if you just find an Uber <laughs> that will allow you to be naked, you've got, almost gone all the way naked. If you can do that, please write a comment below. <laughs> right. <laughs> You'll be able to find the place. Why? Because nudism is huge business. In 2016, the American Association for Nude Recreation did an impact study on Florida. There was 5,100 bookable rooms then, and 2.1 million people booked just in 2016. That was a total economic impact of $7.4 billion. That was just in Florida alone. Who knew? Everybody in Florida liked to be naked. It's hot there. But for this list, we're gonna stick with where we live, Quintana Roo, Mexico. Quintana Roo is Mexico's youngest state. There's 450 kilometers of beach, all the way from Cancun to the border of Belize, Mexico. And in those beaches, there's at least 10 places that you can go for a clothing optional vacation. And we're gonna give you the top 10 reasons why you should take your top off, take your pants off, do whatever you want. That's not true. You can't just do whatever you want. Mexico actually has laws. <laughs> Lauren, do you know what gymnophobia is? Um, like I don't want to commit to a gym membership. Can you remember the first time you were naked in public? A nude beach. With you. With me? Yeah. Do you remember that first feeling of what it was like to be naked on a beach? <laughs> that... Adrenaline rush, right? Is that what that is? I don't know. It feels like your breath is going away. Anxiety. That is our reason number one. Let's go to Lauren and Richard on the dock. <laughs> Reason number one, overcome a fear. A lot of people have fears of being naked in public, whether it's because of their background, their upbringing, their religious beliefs, whatever it is, a lot of people are sort of stifled to just take off their clothes and relax. And overcoming that fear can build a lot of confidence. Overcoming a fear also gives you like that sense of euphoria. And we're all getting older, so 
it's time to kind of ask yourself, when's the last time that you've done something for the first time? If you have one of those bucket lists. A lot of people want to jump out of an airplane. That seems scary. This is so easy. Just come to a resort, take your clothes off. You don't have to plummet to the earth at terminal velocity. What's the first thing that you do or most people do when they get out of the shower? Dry off. Dry off. What if I could say, instead of getting out of the shower and drying off, there was a gentle breeze that you just stood in front of and a bright, warm light that just dried you off naturally. Oh my God, I wanna go watch that in my bath. Exactly. <laughs> Reason number two, it just feels good. Having the sun and the wind and the breeze on parts that have never felt that before, just feels great. What do you like to feel? I like swimming naked the best. <laughs> And it also feels good on the inside. The sun helps our body by creating vitamin D, which helps the immune system. So it actually can make you feel better. It can actually heal you. Would it make you comfortable, more comfortable or less comfortable if I went over your body and outlined all of your private parts with a marker? <laughs> so I just, I just trace along <laughs> and I say, I'm gonna outline all of your boobs. I'm gonna outline your butt and your vagina, I'm gonna make them shine brightly. No, thank you. Right. That's the same reason I don't think we like hand lines. That's a good point. I make good points. Number three reason you should leave your clothes behind on your next vacation, no tan lines. Woo! All right, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. When you're trying to wear that strapless dress or even a backless dress, we don't like tan lines. Here's my next question for you, Lauren. What are some things that you see right away and you're like, that person is rich or that person is important. A car. Car. Um, jewelry. Yeah. Shoes. Shoes is a big one. Um, Bags, rings, jewelry, but just clothing in general. Usually right. the first giveaway is their appearance. What if you took all of that away? I don't know. <laughs> what if you did? Number four, social statuses are erased. We noticed in our many years of going to clothing optional places that people tend to leave their material things behind, that, that expensive watch, that expensive bag. People sort of shed everything, their affectations, their masks, and you sort of enjoy this sense of equality. It really allows you to connect with the people that are right there in front of you. In this world, sometimes we focus too much on material things and it stops us from seeing and hearing and just connecting. How much does a bag cost to, to check in an airline? Like $25. That's stupid. They charge you to bring stuff. Lauren here taught me how to just travel with a carry-on, and it's one of the things that I really appreciate about you. Our first vacation, you actually packed more than I did. I do. <laughs> I was indecisive, and I needed to have options. There's a great thing about going to a place where you're nude most of the time you're there. Number five, light packing. You wear fewer things, you pack fewer things. This one's pretty simple. And being naked matches everything. So you don't have to worry about what you're wearing every day. One of the things that I always felt weird about going on vacation was, and this is just a normal hotel where you have to keep your clothes on. You show up at this hotel and there's like 400 people there. You're vacationing with them for the entire week. You would really go out of your way to almost pretend they didn't exist. Like <laughs> a, a smile, maybe a nod at them, but most of the time it was just head to the floor and just eyes on your own partner. These people mean nothing to me. I want nothing to do with them. I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to know anything about their lives. Have you ever made a friend from one of those resorts? Not a friend. <laughs> I couldn't even name one person. Have you ever made a legitimate friend that you spent on a clothing optional vacation with? Yeah. Here's why. Number six, you are among the like-minded. You go on vacation, everybody went to the same place for the same reason. So you all have at least one thing to talk about. It's an amazing feeling. People are very friendly. And if you run out of things to talk about, you talk about getting naked. When we started going to clothing optional resorts, do you remember? You'd be like, I'm gonna go to the gym more and more. And then leading up, it was like cramming for a test. Only egg whites, that's yeah. all I'm doing. That helped us stay in the gym. Number seven, can be motivating to get fit. We all need motivation to get healthy and to stay healthy. We're already all so self-conscious, right? And even more so when we're taking our clothes off. So sometimes this can be the extra little push 
to get a healthier you, to be a healthier you. I feel like if I can't look like Zac Efron, really still have a problem with taking my clothes off in public. Like if I could look like Zac Efron, then I'd be like, yeah, I'll get naked all the time. I look like Zac Efron. I don't know how Zac Efron feels. Maybe he's like, I love getting naked because I'm Zac Efron. He probably doesn't though. You're slender, people would say. Have you ever felt absolutely perfect? No. I don't think anybody does. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Zac Efron probably doesn't either. He probably doesn't think like that. Oh, Zac Efron knows he's perfect. <laughs> Number eight, body acceptance. Sometimes seeing people of all different shapes and sizes can be incredibly cathartic. We slowly realize that nobody's perfect. Everybody has flaws. And there's no perfect lighting. There's no perfect filter. And sometimes seeing that and accepting it can mean a happier you. Are you turned on by me? No! Stop it. I mean, when you see me, do you get turned on by me ever? Just in, in normal life. Yeah, right. of course. Where would you be more turned on by me? Me sunbathing or me in a spacesuit? <laughs> I don't know, a spacesuit. They're pretty sexy. They are. Also, do you think that I would be equally as sexy if I had Zac Efron's confidence inside of me? <laughs> Is that a sexy thing for you? Like, he doesn't look like Zac Efron, <laughs> but he sure seems like Zac Efron. <laughs> Hey, pretty sexy, right? Yeah, I like confidence. Confidence is sexy. Number nine, sex. No, clothing optional and nudism has nothing to do with sex, but sometimes overcoming those fears, getting more confident, getting in touch with your body, all of those things can be incredibly sexy, especially if you're doing it with your partner. Sometimes getting naked with your partner can just be sexy. And seeing all those naked people sometimes does make you horny. Good guess. How many times were you on your phone just today? Oh God, I don't even know. I would probably be easier to count how many times I wasn't on my phone, to be honest. So this is what I'm saying. Like I've evolved into a different kind of human being now. If I move from room A to room B and I don't have my phone with me, just something doesn't feel right until I realize I don't have my phone. It's this weird appendage yeah, that we sort of grew onto ourselves. And this is how I know it's more of an appendage than anything else, really. Because if I don't have it, someone else could be near me and have seven phones. They said, well, read my phone. I don't wanna read your phone. <laughs> I want to read my phone. It's my phone. It's part of me. When you're not doing anything, read a book, you know? Or talk to somebody. Or talk to somebody. Help a child. Save a dog. Help an animal. Go feed a bird. Vacuum. If the bird needs vacuuming, <laughs> vacuum the bird. Number 10, unplug. Most clothing optional resorts prohibit the use of cameras. Or at the very least, they're frowned upon. In places like this, we can't turn the camera around. If we did, there'd be a beach filled with naked people. So most people just leave their phones in their room or they leave their phones in their bag. And that makes us just be present. It makes us see what's happening and hear what's happening. We stop being buried in our phone, reading the news or Twitter or whatever social media you're on. And you just connect with yourself, with other people or with the person you're with. It really forces you to focus on yourself or even your partner and connect. <laughs> you have it, the top 10 reasons why you should leave your clothes behind on your next vacation. And if you want to know more about how to come visit us in Mexico or where we work or what we do, we put everything below and just follow the link. And to enjoy more about us and our life at Desire, make sure to listen to the Room 77 podcast where we talk about all of our sexy adventures. It's raw and candid and not meant for kids. Well, that about does it for us. We have things to see, people to do. Lauren has to keep sitting there saying nothing. <laughs>